Right guys, ever seen these before? No, you haven't. <laughs> Do you know why that is? Because they haven't been released yet, and myself and Mr. Clubface UK, who is behind the camera, are the first people on planet Earth to test these golf balls out. They are Cavell Golf. They are a direct to consumer golf ball. They have the X version and they have the S version. We'll dig into what the differences are between golf ball, both golf balls as we go around the nine holes. But we've got a pretty special video tied in with these golf balls today, and I will let Mr. Clubface UK tell you what the plan is for today's video. So. Two golf balls here, a little bit of scramble between us. Mm -hmm. you use one ball, I use the other. Each hole, we switch. Yep. See how low we can go. See if we can dig deep. Score predictions, give me one. Crondon's playing hard at the minute. Six under through nine. Six under through nine. You heard it here first, everyone. You know I like a good shot. You love a scramble. I love a scramble, I love it. My favorite egg. <laughs> right, everyone, so we're gonna start off on the eighth hole. And like I said, before we jump into the, the tech and what these golf balls are, we're gonna get off the tee. First of all, we're gonna be using the X's. So the X's are aimed at the higher swing speed golfers. The S's are at lower swing speed, but they are both urethane cover. One's four piece, one three piece. We're starting off with the four piece. Let's go low, Louis. Let's get it underway. See what these feel like. And I've blocked that miles right. You're up to the tee there, buddy. <laughs> right, what are we starting off with? X. I've got X as well. So X is the four-piece urethane. Four-piece, bro. Very soft. I'll nice do, ball, mate. That, mate. It's a sit, though, doesn't it? It's good there, young man. That'll do. That was a little bit spinny, but that was on me. I that think. was you. That was all on you. Mm. So, Cavell Golf, everyone, okay? It is a British direct-to-consumer golf brand. Now, when you think direct-to-consumer golf balls, you think Vice. Yes. Straight away off the bat. Now, obviously, Vice are in Germany, and I think Cavell's thought process behind bringing out a golf ball, with it being British, um, is it being more sort of readily available for people in the UK. Not yeah. that there's a massive delay as such, but it does take a little bit longer for Vice balls to get you and Vice products. So they are trying to aim at the Amazon market and direct to consumer, so offer their website. The four-piece golf ball, the X, is like Louis said on the tee, aimed at the higher swing speed golfers. And the first thing I've noticed of hitting them drives is the softness. Very soft. Super soft golf balls. Very, very, very soft. Should we go hold that? Yeah, it'd be good around the green. I can't wait to putt with it. Yeah. I like a big feel on a putter. You're not so much, but you like the wedges, don't no, you? No, I don't want wedges to be soft. Also going to get the track man out as well, so stay tuned for that. We're going to give you some on-course data. 103 yards. Land it soft on the green. Check up. Hopefully it'll check. It should check. So pick it clean. It should spin, even on this bare lie. It's a crispy golf shot, that is, mate. I should be good if it's not hot. Oh, there we go. Magic. That landed nice and soft. That was actually really nice. I'll get inside that then, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Lucky you're here today, Lou. This is one of the big things that I look for in a, when I try a new golf ball, is the feel of the putter face. I'm just not good enough with the putter. So no. I'll leave that to you. Okay. I'm just not good enough with the putter to feel anything other than a rock. Good enough to make it though, so I want to see it. Turn. I mean, that is why I can't feel <laughs> jack. I'll go, because... I'll go, I'll go. It's a great bar. You, you, you love a talk and you love a walk, don't you? I love a little talk and a walk. It feels super soft off the face. One under, through one, onto the ninth next, our second hole, part five. That was beautiful. Come on. Another thing I look for is that the ball isn't spinning too much. It's good to have a lot of spin, but you don't want it on your driver. Some people want a ton of spin on their wedges. You want a lot of spin on your wedges, but you don't want it on your driver. So this is the perfect opportunity to demonstrate that or see how it performs into wind, par five. Let's do it, Lou. Keep it low, mate. Again, you can't blame the Cavell. <laughs> that is all on me. An experiment here. We love an experiment. I'm gonna try to hit a low drive. A little bit back in my stance and just see if it does what I want it to do. Okay. Have that relationship. I'll tell you what, that is some pretty golf shot. That's nice. That, that listen, we're on the same page right now, me and that Cavell. Mate, that is we're, so we're perfect, Lou. Right, so what I like, Lou, when I spoke to Darren, one of the founders of Cavell, was he didn't give me the whole spiel of this ball is better than the Titleist Pro V1. And that's why I was happy to test them and do a video on them. Because what Darren and the team are saying over at Cavell is, it's 
we're not we're not claiming to be the best ball in golf. No. But we're claiming to perform close to the best balls in golf. So it might be like a tiny bit down in distance off the tee. With a wedge, it might spin a touch less or a touch higher. Yeah. But it is going to come in at around about 60% of the price of a dozen Pro V1s. I'm so, actually excited to see how much it is. Yeah, I'll show you soon. But it's going to be available on Amazon. It's going to be available on their website. And for the golfer who, listen, don't get me wrong, me and you pay Pro V1 TP5. Yeah, I'll and, be Pro V1 boy. And I'll probably continue to, to well, we're in a more fortunate position where we, we sometimes get balls. But for golfers, some people like playing that ball. Yeah, especially if you're a higher handicap or mid handicap and you're losing three to four balls around. Yeah. You know, 54 pounds for a dozen is kind of steep. I'm going to take a little leaf out of your book here. I'm going to hit that little low freewood that you were just talking about off camera. A little peely one, like little, little sort of riser starting left of the green and feeding back. I love that. You like that? It's going to look beautiful. Let me show you it. So you that's all over it. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, my. for a golf shot. Oh, you get that man. one down? You got that in your locker? No. No. So, we've seen a low three woods. I'm going to take an opposite approach because that is stiff. So I'm going to go for a high spinny, ride the wind, hopefully soft. Inside, get inside me. Let's see. <laughs> I'll tell you what, ah, oh, as the wind's oh. got it. Started good. Carried all the stuff though, see it over the other side of the trees. Car park, look at your shot. Like the Titanic really, started good, <laughs> ended terribly. <laughs> all right, we're gonna keep the order the same. Louis to go first, give me the read. Stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. That's a good roll. Look, how, look at that though, wow. look. Look at that, that is the Don, look. Look, <laughs> look. <sighs> Honestly. It hasn't beaten my ball, has it? Honestly. It has. Never in doubt. Never in doubt. A little bit stressed for that birdie, wasn't it? Two Never under, through two with the Cavells. Next up, we're going to use the Cavell S, which is for the lowest swing speed. So we have to slow things down a little bit, otherwise we're going to get too much spin. But I just want to feel this sort of feel difference on them. I can pop. <laughs> I can pop. <laughs> right, third hole, tenth hole. I'm actually happy we're using these because it is a tight, tight fairway so as you can see for the packaging nice bit of packaging and you can tell you can tell by the coat that it's a soft golf ball like it hasn't got that really hard sort of like concretey type of vibe like you can feel it's a urethane now this is obviously a three piece the other is a four but it's driver on this one lou it takes an accurate tee shot to hit the fairway mate oh it didn't cut as much lou might be okay New balls, please. New balls, please. Play at tennis, Wimbledon. British, Wimbledon. But Unapologetically British. I am going to try and slow my swing down, which isn't actually a hard task. Uh, tee a little bit lower, so I have a bit more control, and hopefully find the fairway. fairway. Oh, God. Oh, no. No. Four left. <laughs> Listen, mine will be fine. Mm. I won't be fine. The ball ain't going to help that. So um, for anyone wondering if YouTube golf is fake, <laughs> it did hit the tree because Ash has left a part of Mother Nature <laughs> on his ball. Yeah. That's, that is a bruise. That is a big old bruise, isn't it? That's a big bruise. Right, me first or you? You can go first. You want to change your audio? Yeah, you do it first. Okay. okay. That is an absolute dart. Be good. Oh, wow, it's such a good golf shot. <laughs> Look at this ball. I mean, that felt a lot softer. Is a it, lot. Yeah? Yeah. Well, quite a lower ball flight than what I'm used to. Nice. But like. a dart. <laughs> oh, that needs a bounce. He got one. Great shot. Do you know what? That's, a, that's two pretty good shots there. I like the flight of these flighting a little bit lower. You like it? Yeah, I'm well, I'm someone, I'm someone who like absolutely balloon balls, everything. So I've just seen a little bit of a lower flight. I don't know if that's like a characteristic, characteristic that Cavell have mentioned, but certainly coming out a little bit lower, aren't they? Yeah. Definitely. Nice little trajectory. Well, nice they, little they, these are free piece. Just as a bit of a uh, curiosity thing, really, get down in the comments and let us know what golf ball you play, but also the reason you play that golf ball. Because for me personally, I've never had a ball fit in. I use TP5 and Pro V1 
because they're the best balls in golf. I, yeah, I use probably one because it's the best ball in golf. Yeah, and I couldn't tell you, oh, it's just a touch long, but I couldn't tell you why it's necessarily the best golf ball in golf, but I just know it is. It's just all round, it's got distance, it's got feel, yeah. it's soft. Right, so you're going for a putt, right? I'm going to putt, you're going to chip. So if you're putting, I'm going to go for a chip. That's a good, oh, <sighs> see how fast it is though, mate. Do not chip. I'm please. not going to, I'm going to putt. I should have listened to you. I'm going to putt. Okay. Oh, I've rammed it as well. Oh my God, that's a tester. I'll clean it up. Okay, okay. I'll clean okay. it up. Oh, I'll put a tee down, I'll put a tee down. <laughs> I we actually need, need to box this to save my dreams. We need you on. here. We need you big time. You absolute. Mm. What an idiot. What an idiot. Listen, there's no point in the finger here for a team. That's my fault. I should have part. And you should have chips. <laughs> <laughs> That's my fault. Right. So let me just go through a little bit of the sort of technology that goes into these golf balls. I won't bore you too long because I know it's not the most interesting of topics, but just so you know what you are buying if you decide to go and purchase these balls when they are re released, I think at the latter end of July, probably in accordance when this video is released. But both, both balls are cast urethane covers, um, incredible durability and green side control. And we'll test the durability a little bit later on. Three piece on the S and four piece on the X, uh, very compressions to suit individual golfers needs both balls have 332 dimples which we hear a lot on the premium golf balls i think that's similar to what pro v1 yeah. tailor made all that use uh, the balls are pending usga and rna approval but they have all been made within usga and rna guidelines they will conform to being able to use them in all golf competitions now the cavell golf x like i said four piece structure provides a firmer feel and extra extraordinary driver distance i don't like this promo we talk in golf balls are extraordinary and all that sort of stuff but it's going to be the little bit firmer feel going to go a little bit further um, compression of 102 comparing to something like a pro v1 or a chrome soft ls um, and then obviously the S, which we just used on there, is the softer feel, the three-piece structure, provides a soft feel and exceptional distance, compression 75. So lower swing speeds for the lower compression, higher swing speeds for the higher compression. So your higher and mid handicap golfers will probably use the S and then your better players will probably use the S. Yeah, well, it's more sort of done on swing speeds. If you're if you're falling into like a, a I would guess around about sort of like under 95 mile an hour with a driver, mm. then you're going to be into like the 75 compression. If you're up, up and above that, you're going to want something a little bit with a, with a bigger compression on it. So there's the tech on these golf balls. We've now moved back to one under par with that terrible bogey onto the 11th par three. That hurts. That hurts. Right, this might be a big ask this, but it is downwind. It's about 153. And I'm gonna go pitching wedge because the greens are firm. So I'm hoping that I might land it a bit short and then get a bounce. Oh, if it's good, it's so good. Go a little, go a little. Oh, it's so good. Shotty get down, good lord. <laughs> That's such a nice golf shot. That's Come beautiful. On. If, I stiff, if I stiff this inside yours, we should bounce back. I feel like you've had ultimate, like you've had that relationship you've spoken about between ball and yeah. player at the moment. Show me it. Oh, no. chunky monkey. That is left, everyone. Sometimes you have to have a love-hate relationship where you argue. Yeah. A little bit of fire in the relationship. Yeah. What's the next hole? Yeah. <laughs> Clean her up. Back to Great two, words. boy. A little solo birdie. I really, really like the feel of these. And on the next hole, we're going to get the track man out, send some drivers. Look at some data for you lot. Time for some data. I love a bit of track man, mate. The track man is set up. So, it. baseline sort of on course numbers for yourself with driver. 275, 280 carry, 160 ball. Okay. Not a short club head. Okay. So we're looking for around about 270, about 275. Two, two spin. Okay. No one and two five. Oh, it's healy. A little bit healy, but should be down a little bit. Oh, back into the fairway. Yeah, it's a good bounce. There's a lot of trees, don't they? Right, Lou, so I'm looking for, again, under two and a half spin, really. Carrying about 285-ish. It's going to be lovely on that wind, Lou. So what ball are we playing? Huh? What ball are we playing? My one's an absolute missile. Oh, is it all right over there? Yeah, that's the line, mate. That's oh. the line. Oh, that's the line. All right, Lou, do you want to know the price? Yes, I actually do. 
I don't know. Is your answer to that question? Do you actually know? No, but I'm putting a, a, a guesstimate out there that okay, they're going to. Yeah, let's have a little guess. They're going to be less than forty pound per dozen. I think, I think they're going to fall around the thirty-five pound a dozen mark. So you're saving yourself about twenty pounds. How pound. much is the Vice Pro Soft? I don't know. Because that's what I'd compare it to, feel-wise. I would say it's softer than that. You think that, it's softer? Oh than that? my lord! What a golf shot! What's the damage, mate? One oh two. Bit of me. Love it. Gonna take a nice flight to fifty again. Mm -hmm. Hold it this time. Ash. Oh, Sit left a little. Spade. Oh, get up. nice. That's delightful. That's lovely. That's it. So firm. They are so firm. So firm. It's all right though. Birdie putt, mate. It's a good effort. No. How bad is that, by the way? You just didn't commit to it. How it's bad hard. is that? It's hard to know because when it's so firm. All right, but... listen, it's fine. Still two under, through five. Let's show you these golf balls up close and personal. Right, though, another little birdie gets us the free under boy. That was good from you. Good drive, cracking drive. Your free wood, my bunker shot, your putt. Teamwork makes a dream work. <laughs> right, now, does the Cavell survive the watery grave, which is the 14th hole at Crondon Park? Fun fact, favourite hole on the golf course, never hit the green. Can the Cavell help with that? What's the yardage? 157. Oh, never right. hit. The green. Cavell on. is another one who finds a watery death. Never, I never. The ball can't help with that, mate. I Big old block. I never hit the green <laughs> on this hole. It's done to you, mate. Sorry. That's not the ball's fault. It's just a me and Crondon Park issue. That could be so nice. Oh, go! Are we safe? That would have stayed up just, yeah. Mate, I was thinking that was going to dunk. Bro, I thought that was dancing. You right there? No, I'm upset. I'm upset? I'm upset. 50,000 on my head, that's disrespect. <laughs> I don't know if you are. Oh, um, maybe. It usually is in that little grassy knoll. Like um, the Lee Harvey Oswald shooter was up on the grassy you know knoll. Those two cabals and two like two I shots. prefer not to lose two cabals, yeah, considering we're the only people in the world to have them. Only people in the world know it's for late. Yeah, not ideal. That better hopefully be up, a little wedge and a putt. No negative energy, I don't want your negative vibes. Look at where it is. Told you it'd be up. But listen, I'll chip this close enough to you. Oh, oh. That sound, that's all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then you don't have to hit a shot, you don't have to moan about it. Oh my god, Ash. Do you want to have a go or should we putt that? No, I'll have a go. I went for the hole out. Should have just played mine. I went for the hole out, okay? I went for the views. Do you know what? Last hole next, I'm going to go through what I love about these golf balls and probably the downsides that people need to know about, all right? So it's not all sunshine and roses, don't get me wrong. Good putt, mate. I like the line. I like the line. Still three under, one hole left. Happy now? Yeah, no, I'm happy with the birdie. Solo birdie again. Oh. Oh, it was. It felt like a birdie. <laughs> it did feel like it a birdie, like yeah. A birdie. You're right. So we're going to talk about what we like and dislike about golf. Yeah. 
So uh, I'll start proceedings. What I like about the golf balls, now don't get me wrong, we haven't tested the S's massively because neither of our swing speeds are gonna suit that ball. But what I personally like about the X's, which we've played for pretty much all of this scramble, is one, the flight. flight I really yes. like, I really yes. like that it's a lot more of a sort of penetrating, penetrating flight. ball flight, yes. we found anyway. And I really, really like the softness and the black lineup line. The line is game changing. That's what I've taken from it. Obviously the soft feel is really nice. I really like playing balls that feel soft off of the face. I don't like to, as weird as it sounds, I don't like to like hear the golf ball off the face. Okay. I like it to be like, almost like dull when it hits it. That's where I know it's like a soft ball. It hasn't got like a big clunk to it. Yeah. And that definitely gives me that sort of like dull hit. I like design. I like how simple it is, the line. Yeah. For me, like, I don't really line up my balls, but like, I would line up this. Yeah. For um, me, CG. distance, because I'm not a massive hitter, distance is a player for me. Yeah. So losing more distance and spinning the ball more for me wouldn't be my normal golf ball. Yeah. But around the greens, it is pure. It is so nice. It is pure. The greens here are quite firm and it is still kind of grabbing. Yeah. It's not grabbing a lot, but like... And kind of grabbing on the greens at Condon at the moment is is showing that it's got some serious like grab to it. Yeah. Like a TP5. Like a Pro V1, TP5, yeah, like, like it's got some five. serious zip on it around the greens, which is really, really nice. And if you're someone who struggles to spin a golf ball, like you're someone who produces really low spin, then having a golf ball that spins a little bit more is going to be great for you. The coating is like, we've hit a lot of trees. Yeah, and that's not bad damage. No, the, the durability on it. Bad. I was going to chuck it in the bunk at the end, but like you could clean that up. And I mean, like that hasn't got a single scuff, like actual like chip out of the the coating. It's just got dirt on it. And if you hit a tree on any golf ball, it's going to be covered yeah, up in bruises. 100%. Let's make birdie, mate. Let's get to three, four under through three. Respectable. Respectable. All right, let's get a ball this one, Luke. Tiger line, we need there this. There is a tiger line on this hole. It measured out of 350 if you play the contours of the hole, but you can go right across that corner into wind. So it might not 100% get there, but we're going to be in and around the green. And I trust both of our ability to get up and down for the bird. <laughs> go! Do you know what? It's not bad, is it? It's in really missed the golf ball. That's going to be right down in the middle of the fairway. Oh, how embarrassing that was. Oh, not that straight. No. Not that straight. Lucky mine's all right, eh, mate? You've hit a very good shot for us. Very good, bad one. A very bad, good one. Good, good bad one. Yeah. Bad, good bad, one. Bad, good, good, bad. What are you going with? I got a 54, mate. I don't like playing a 58. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not terrible, but he knifed it. Is that deep? No. That is appalling from both of us from 70, 60, 50 yards. Whatever, man, let's roll it in. So, <laughs> you're so negative. I want to miss the positive. Right, my Mr. Ashley and the Golf Supply family. First of all, thank you for having me on the channel. Second thank of all, I'm going to do this for you guys. Thank you. I'd love to see it. Uh, Go, 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 go! <laughs> Good effort, mate. You know what? Great putt. It was a great putt, yeah. That's it, it's the one. It's not! There we go. Guys, if you want to get these balls, it'll be on Cavell's website, which is in the description below. They're also going to be sold on Amazon. Very quick overlay, soft golf ball, low ball flight we found not as far as your top top premiums but they're going to be coming in at around about 35 pound per dozen british company home soil if you're interested in getting their balls check the links below check it out as always thank you for watching the video hope you've enjoyed this format of review getting it involved with a scramble thank you to louis for coming on the channel and as always guys we'll see you in the next one hit the subscribe button ring the bell hit the like button you'll be notified every time we upload a new golf video i am the golf supplier you're a bunch of legends and i'll see you later <laughs>